Welcome. It's been a quiet summer here in the Berkshires this year, so we're thrilled to be able to bring you this virtual 245th birthday celebration. A big thanks to the Keene family. Our show is coming to you from the barn at the Egremont Village Inn. I'm Barbara Kalish, representing the Egremont Historical Commission and the Birthday Party Committee, including Lucinda Vermeulen and Mary McGurn. We're continuing the party tradition, and we hope you will enjoy the show. Our town is blessed with some amazing talent. So roll up the rugs and get ready to tap your feet to the music of Gigi and Tom Teeley, Sarah Keen, and Doug Mishkin. We'll take a moment to remember our poet laureate, Stan Farnham, as well as a selection by John Donahue, read by James Warwick. And what would be a town party without honoring those who have retired from service to our community this year? Our select board, George McGurn, Mary Brazy, and Lucinda Vermeulen will do the honors. For the finale, please join us in a chorus of happy birthday. But before we begin, let me remind everyone that the Egremont t-shirts can be purchased from Kenvers and online from the Monterey T-Shirt Company. You can copy the link at the end of the broadcast or check out the posters in the post office, the wine shop, Moms, Guido's, and the Egremont website posted on the birthday page. 50% of the proceeds will go toward the celebration of the Egremont 250th birthday party. Now, on with the show, starting with the Egremont Ballad, performed and written by our very own Doug Mishkin. Doug? Great. Great. Okay, good. I've been coming to the Berkshires my whole life. 12 years ago, we bought our house here in Egremont, but I'd always come the same way, uh, up the Taconic and over on 23. And then one day I was coming from the city and I made the approach a whole different way and saw it in a whole different way. I wrote this love song and I've remained in love with the place ever since. I took a plane to a train to a taxi on Main, my way station in Wasaic. We rode Route 22 like the New Yorkers do, and a few who come from south of Passaic. Then as we drove 23 through the winterized trees that heralded my arrival, all the air rearranged, my DNA changed to engineer my revival. Egermont moves me, Egermont moves me, Egermont proves what I'd hoped for. First time I feel like I'm home at last, Egermont evermore. Oh, it's a landslide win any day that begins walking into the country store. I buy an eagle from the stand, then I take my band for a pancakes at Mom's Encore. And when my three girls surround me with laughter, whether with me or at me, that's fine. We're within the boundary I'm after. Safe within that shrine. Oh, Egermont moves me, Egermont moves me, Egermont soothes all that sore. First time I feel like I'm home at last, Egermont evermore. Now every time that I arrive here, the flight attendant's words ring true. My contents have definitely shifted in a way I always dreamed they would do. I 
I've always thought of myself as more of a man of time rather than space. But with my friends and guitars under Berkshire stars, my time has found my place. You see, I love the town I was born in and where I've lived since then. But every Berkshire morning, takes me home again. Eggermont moves me, Eggermont moves me, Eggermont proves what dreams are for. Seems like a dream to be home at last, Eggermont evermore. Ah, oh, it ain't no dream, I'm home at last, Eggermont evermore. Happy birthday, Egermont. I'm really pleased to join my colleagues, Mary and Lucinda this morning for what has become uh, a very important tradition in our community. Today is our 245th birthday. We've had this celebration at April Hill in French Park in front of our reopened school a few years ago. And this year, we're at our de facto community center, the barn. <laughs> and part of our tradition is to recognize people that have retired from service in Agermont because these are the people, our volunteers, our elected officials, our appointed officials, uh, who make this government function and this community the kind of happy place that it is. So, Selectman Brazy. Happy birthday, Agramont. I'm here to recognize Elliot Snyder, who is an active town official from the time he was appointed as an alternate to the Zoning Board of Appeals in 1986 to the time he left the Zoning Board of Appeals in 2020. Elliot served as a full member of the ZBA beginning in 1988. He took a short leave from the ZBA to become a selectman in 1989 and returned to the ZBA when he left the select board in 1993. Elliot, thank you for your service. Good morning, Egermonters and happy birthday to us. I'm here to recognize Greg Sheeran, who retired from the planning board this past June. He was on the planning board uh, since May 2015, and he was the chair for two years, 2019 and 20, until his term expired. Greg was a great addition to the planning board during a very difficult time with issues uh, before the board. He displayed commitment and team leadership many, meeting after meeting while never losing his sense of humor, which is always important. Thank you, Greg. And I would like to recognize Steve Rawlings. Steve was a lifetime Egermonter until he recently uh, moved uh, to the American heartland to be closer to his grandchildren. Uh, but from 2017, uh, he served on the Finance Committee, one of our most important committees in town, and also uh, served with me uh, on the reassessment uh, committee for uh, the school district. Uh, and part of Steve's legacy was, uh, because of the formula reassessment, uh, our tax in impact actually decreased this year. So thank you, Steve. Be well. I'm here also to recognize another uh, former planning board member, oh. Hel Helen Crancer. Uh, she was a member of the planning board and chairwoman for uh, since 2005. 
Unfortunately, Helen suddenly died this spring, and it was a shock to the community. She was a star as well as a force among us, also a member of the Council on Aging. Her light at the luncheons of the COA and the fantastic smile and her happy eyes will be deeply missed. She would have hated this social distancing business. I loved you, Helen, and thank you for your service. I'm here to recognize Susan Bach Elder. Susan was first appointed to the Historic Commission in 2011, uh, and she chaired that uh, commission uh, for many years. And Susan also served uh, first as an alternate uh, in 2017 to the Zoning Board of Appeals, uh, and later as a full member uh, until her retirement. Thank you, Susan, for your service to Agermont. Next, we would like to recognize Stan Farman. Once again, a lifelong Agermonter and our poet laureate of Agermont. We will now hear one of Stan's poems from our wonderful postmistress, Heather. My name is Heather Atwood, and I work at the South Agermont Post Office. And I was very fortunate to meet my dearest best friend, Stan Farnham, over 15 years ago. And Stan would always bring in poems and have them typed up or would read them. And Stan Farnham is very well known in Berkshire County for his poems. Stan just passed away recently at the age of 98. Um, he was the longest resident that was born and raised in South Agermont. So, this is called My Boots by Stan Farnham. I sat in my old rocking chair and I felt a little sad. Today I lost a couple friends, the best I've ever had. They were my closest friends for many years, in my hunting and fishing days, but we got so very old and worn that we had to change our ways. I wonder how many other folks might feel the same as me when they find that parting time has come and they can only agree. Everything in life wears out like my two old friends you see. I've been a country boy for all my days and ranged the fields and rivers. I've climbed the mountains all about for our harvest deer and swift bright trout and the happiness the woodlands delivers. I guess that most folks would think me strange if they knew why I'm sad. But I don't care or give two hoots, because I'll tell you, my two old friends, my ancient sporting boots. I was the age of 21 some years ago, and the depression years were past. It was Christmas time and present time, so you know that when I opened up my box, I had new boots at last. Well, all these years, I still have that box from when my friends arrived. So tomorrow I'll put them back inside, happy that I've survived, to take them to the wilderness grave upon the mountainside. From my dear friend, Stan Farnham. Hello. My name is James Warwick and I'm a grateful resident of Egremont, having traveled all over the world as a professional actor and director. This has recently been a sanctuary for me, living in this beautiful community. And I'd like to share with you a poem that was written by John O'Donoghue, Irish poet, philosopher, and priest. And he died in 2008, having left behind one of the greatest legacies of modern poetry that I know. So I'd like to share this one with you now. This is the time to be slow. 
Lie low to the wall until the bitter weather passes. Try as best you can not to let the wire brush of doubt scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. If you remain generous, time will come good and you will find your feet again on fresh pastures of promise where the air will be kind and blushed with beginning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, first I want to thank the barn at the Village Inn for letting us tape this here. Uh, it's been a wonderful event and they have been so helpful. Our singers, our poets, it's been really magical. Um, I want to remind everybody that this is a lead up for the 250th birthday. So we have five years. Buy your t-shirts. 50% of the proceeds go to the 250th birthday party. Yay. Okay. So uh, I wish everybody a really happy year. May your wishes come true. <laughs>